All right, if you're using Google Sheets and you want to find the number of the week of a specific date, we're going to go over the week num function right now. And its basic usage is pretty straightforward, so that's what we'll do first. Let's just type out the function. And we're going to use a simple cell reference. The date that we want is in A2. So we'll just select A2. And the next parameter, which is type, is an optional argument, meaning you don't need to use it. So first we're going to do these functions without specifying the type, and then we'll start modifying that, talk about what that means. All right, so the result of the week number for September 12th, 2022 is 38. And that means it's the 38th week of the year. Now let's drag this down to see that it'll do it for different dates, right? But as you use this more, you're going to notice some results that might confuse you a little bit. For example, what's in B3 right now. So I'm going to grab this next table and I've applied conditional formatting to this area to help us see what's going on. But these are the different types that you can specify in the function. So when you go to the web page that accompanies this, we'll scroll up a little bit. This is sheetshelp.com. When you don't specify anything, it defaults to acting like a one. And then these other types specify a different day of the week on which to start the week. That's one, two, and then 11 through 17. We'll look at those. And then 21 is its own animal, if you will. It's using the ISO convention. So this is a standardized way of counting weeks that's mostly used in Europe. And it has its own function called the ISO week num function. I'll link to a video on that right now. But if you use 21 in the week number function, it acts like the ISO week num function. Let's go back to this table and let's look at number one. Number one begins on Sunday. So the day of the week became 53 on Sunday, but then all of these week number counting options, except for the last one, which uses the ISO method, reset to number one on January 1st, no matter what day of the week it is. So there weren't necessarily seven 53s because it just stops no matter what on January 1st and resets to one. And then because we're using method one, that following Sunday, it increments to two. It's a little bit confusing, but if you're in the middle of the year, it doesn't really matter every seven days it increments by one, but it is strange at the beginning and at the end of the year. Let's talk about 21 for a minute. Two things are happening here. One, the week begins on Monday in 21. And then the next thing is, is that the first week number of the year is the week that contains the first Thursday. All right, so this Thursday is on January 1st. The other odd thing that goes on with number 21 is that it can even go back into the previous year with week one. So the total number of weeks you can see only got to 52 with the 21 specified. And then it started at one before it was even 2026. So looking at this table, I think can help you figure it out, but a few of the guidelines to keep in mind. Let's go back to the website. Are that if you're using one through 17, it can result in less than seven days around the beginning and the end of the year. And if you're using 21, the week can start in the previous year. 1 through 17 start on the week that you specify with the type number. 21 always starts on Monday. So something closely related to this would be the day of the week. So we'll look at the weekday function next and it will return a result of 1 through 7 depending on which day it is. I'll see you in that video. Thanks for watching.